welcome back. We are uh, doing daily math. Week five, day three. Plot the ordered pair on the coordinate plane. Zero, four. Ooh, this one's tricky. I am not going to fib. I think it goes. Okay, if I go over one up four, that means it's one four. So I go straight up four. One, two, three, four. That one is tricky. Zero four is right on the line. So if I called it T for tricky, you would label the dot T for tricky, right? Perfect. I mainly want you guys to get used to what? labeling them if you have to label them because eventually they're going to label them and they're going to put different all kinds of different letters on them and sometimes they'll spell words and stuff it's kind of fun okay yep go for the next one yep Yep. So if I say 23 times 1, it's 23. My friend said if I times 10 times 10, it's 100. So if I say 23 times 10, it's going to be 230. You are right. We're going to round 432,983 to the nearest thousand. Job number one is find the thousands place. Which one is in the thousands place? Two's in the thousands place, so you're going to look at the next door neighbor. The next door neighbor is the next door neighbor of nine. Nine is going to do what to the two? Bump it up. Bump it up. So the two is going to become a three. Everything else after the three is going to be zeros. zeros. 433,000 is what the new number is. Add the fractions, add the fractions. Okay, so you said 4 plus 2 is 6, so it's 6 eighths, and then 13 plus 3 is 16 and 6 eighths. Now I have to reduce the fraction. How do I reduce the fraction? Times two? You're right, but are you timesing or are you dividing? Yep, so I'm going to divide the top by two, divide the bottom by two. So I have 16 and 6 divided by 2 is? And 8 divided by 2 is? 4. 16 and 3 fourths. All right. We'll chat with you later. Bye.